afternoon, Cicene. Um, I have a question. Uh, first, you've been talking about Hongik in era, right? It's like a, to help humanity, to, to help others. Um, I have a lot of passion and a lot of desire to help others. But I see myself like my fear to failure really stopped me to grow uh, and to get what I want. Um, I would like to know what can I do in order to stop my fear um, to paralyze me to get what I want and to become more courage, to create more courage in my actions. If someone has fear, that's because he or she lacks in their quality of energy. I have mentioned the quality of energy many times. How should you understand this? I don't mean the quality of our physical body, but the quality of our soul. Humans are made of physical body and soul. The purpose of human life is to improve the quality of our souls, not our bodies. We equip ourselves with knowledge so that our souls can grow, not the bodies. The bodies are tools by which souls use as a means to grow. We can share the knowledge and meet the high quality demands of society only if the soul's quality increases. But if you lack your quality of energy compared to that of modern society, you feel fearful or have no confidence to go out and perform in society. That's because you didn't feel enough knowledge for your soul. So, you should fill your soul with more knowledge. In contemporary society, general knowledge does not provide us with any quality of energy anymore. You should have the appropriate quality and quantity of energy commensurate with energy level of society. But no one was able to teach this to you. Who should have taught you? The religious sectors like churches, temples, and other meditation organizations should have taught the knowledge humans need to improve their quality of energy. Rather, they had been focusing on other things, and the time had already passed. This society demands a high quality of energy from us, but our quality of energy is still lacking. Thus, we are incapable of handling current world affairs. This is why we are eager to receive something. When people handle affairs correctly, they will be provided with the materials they need by grand nature. But you try to get it from somewhere else. You can't figure out what you need to do. You can get all the materials you need when you properly perform your duties. The questioner, as an African American, should think about the role of the African Americans in America. There will be more lectures about African Americans in more detail later on, but we all need to think about what we can do for this society. When you do quality work for society, then you will never be in difficulty. Right now, what people do in society is low in quality. That is why it cannot lead us to a bright future. There needs to be a transformation in our quality of work. In order to make that happen, we need a proper education. We think that people have received an education, but true education has not even begun. The international community has not received proper education. 
Instead, people learned skills. Common knowledge you learned is basically a human history. History is the record of our past, documentation of life events. We have absorbed this as general knowledge, but we have not made any effort to research to create something new. We learn all the knowledge of the past. Just because we learn this knowledge, are we going back in time? No. The reason we learned all this was to come up with a new vision by absorbing the past. To open a new era, we need to research in order to open the new era. Scholars of the past have documented their records for the future generations. And we have absorbed this material and formed the knowledge of today. There is nothing new there. All the information is well organized, which are the records of life from the past. This is important data since it will help us open the new future, but we are not finding any new knowledge. That is why we are weak now. We lack the quality of energy to lead a prosperous life in modern society. This is the fault of the spiritual leaders who should have been providing such quality teachings to ordinary people. Yet, no one has done so. The religious and spiritual leaders should have trained and studied the grand nature, while ordinary people worked hard to develop the society, so that one day, when the society needs help, spiritual leaders should fulfill their roles. But no one has played their role as spiritual leaders. So, what kind of spiritual leaders are there? They only focus on expanding their organizations rather than educating the public. Why? No one truly underwent training. There are only some who boasted their spiritual power as if it was God's gift, like telepathy or such skills, and assembled people to build their own private organization. They didn't teach any beneficial lessons to the people. We already know about the teachings of the Bible, whether we read it or they read it. Each religious group insists they know the correct interpretation of the Bible and keep teaching people only their versions. They should be teaching you new knowledge. It is time that they find their own philosophy from their unique studying, not from the Bible. Yet no one has done so. Modern society is demanding a new philosophy from us, how trivial it may be. It has been about 15 to 20 years where there has been a lack of teaching. Now, we already studied the Bible 15 to 20 years ago and understood it. But they still keep talking about the same stories in the Bible over and over. Because we have to live in a new era, we should know how to operate our society. I will teach you how from now on. I will teach the principle of how to lead this society. As people have mastered the basic knowledge, you can just listen to these junk pop lectures. You can learn by just listening to this whenever you have time to spare. So the question is, how are we going to lead this society? We need a project plan. Grand Nature has planned how our society, humanity, and this universe have developed thus far. And there is a future plan for humanity as well. There is a plan. 
It is time that we make a project plan for ourselves. There is no difference between America and Korea. We all need to research what society needs. It is not the time to depend on God or any powerful entities anymore. We have to shape the future of our society and our families. Everything depends on how we solve this. Yet, we are still begging and praying to God. Do you know what God is doing now? God is sitting back and just watching us. In the previous era, God had embraced us all when we begged. But now, He sits back and just watches us. Why does He just watch us and do nothing? He is waiting for us to research in a group and come up with a plan so that He can help us proceed with the plan. Because everyone has developed their own unique talents, they need to cooperate and fuse their know-how to create an influential project for the world. But look at us. We are all separated. Even married couples separate because their ideas differ. Siblings have different ideas. Everybody's thoughts differ. So we have become strangers to each other. This is why we have no strength. We can't accomplish anything alone from now on. The questioner also can't accomplish on your own. You should form a group with like-minded people. We need to unite from now on. If there is a project plan that you like, then you should support it. That is how you become powerful. People in a group have much more power. Then there is nothing that they cannot accomplish. According to the law of quality of energy, as more people gather together correctly, Energy is accumulated and becomes one. Energy attracts more energy. When people find the right paradigm and gather with one mind, it will generate wonderful energy. Then it will attract more people. This will happen very quickly later on. So, do not work alone. We all have to work on it together. Americans should work together. African Americans should cooperate and work together. When willing people come together and make an effort, great power is generated. There is nothing they cannot do in this society. So, regardless of what race or ethnicity you are, people with one mind will gather and make a difference in the world. This is how you should approach your problem.